guys, how are y'all? I hope y'all are doing super, super fantastical. So, I am going to show y'all how to do the tater tot casserole. Okay? I'm going to show you all of the ingredients. I'm going to show you the temperature. I'm going to show you the time that you put it, that you, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to show you the time that you cook the tater tot casserole for. And uh, everything you need to get going. If you have kids, this is the perfect dinner to make. It's fast, it's easy, it's yummy. So y'all guys, sit back, relax, and watch the video. So guys, you're going to need some tater tots. And my husband picked out these Albertsons off-brand tater tots. I don't use off-brand tater tots, but he picked them out, so that's, yeah, that's, that's on him. But uh, you're going to get a big bag, and then you're going to use two of the Wolf brand chilies. You can use it, you can do it with beans or without beans. I prefer without beans, but my husband likes to have beans in there, so that's pretty much how that goes. Then you're going to get some, uh, some cheese, and it doesn't matter what kind of cheese you use. I normally use the sharp cheddar cheese, but he's got some Mexican style cheese here. Then you're going to use... You're going to use Eckerd's sausage. And we have a family of six, so I'm going to use both packages of the uh, Eckerd's sausage. I'm going to use both cans of the Wolf brand chili. One bag of tater tots, which, you know, if you'd like, you can get two bags of the tater tots. And then one bag of this, you don't even have to, you could use like a quarter of this bag, about, you know, and be perfectly fine guys so what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a you're gonna get either a roasting pan you're gonna get a cake pan you're going to use some cooking spray which I'm using this vegetable oil cooking spray it's the value time from Walmart spray you're gonna spray the can okay and then you are going to you're gonna let the tater tots cook first and the tater tots for a full bag, this bag right here, it says to cook for 28 to 32 minutes. So you're going to let the tater tots cook first. You're going to pull the tater tots out. And let me show you, they're cooking right now. See them? They're cooking. So you're going to pull the tater tots out of the oven. And then you're going to open up both of your cans of Wolf Brand Chili. You're going to pour the Wolf Brand Chili on top. You're going to cut up your sausage, and the sausage you can cut it up in, you know, like little pieces, not like rounds, you know. And as small as you want, as big as you want, it doesn't really matter, it's your preference. As you can tell, we cooked earlier on the stove. And uh, so you're going to put this next, then you're going to put the shredded cheese on top of the, uh, on top of the sausage, okay. And guys, what makes it eat, taste even better is if you have like a liquid nacho cheese that makes it taste even better. You can use whatever you'd like. Or also, if you have um, also ketchup, it makes it taste even tastier. Of course, you're going to use salt and pepper. So I'm going to be right back and show y'all the process. Okay, guys, I'm back. So you're going to get the Eckerd sausage and you're going to cut it and small pieces like this right here sharp knife preferably works so much better which our knives are getting dull so we need new knives I'm still waiting on the tater tots to get done cooking That's about what they look like. And the tater tots are done. So I'm going to turn off the timer. I'm going to turn, well, actually, I'm not going to turn off the stove. That would be really dumb. So here's the tater tots, you guys, and they are 
nice and crisp. So I'm going to go ahead and put the first round of sausage in here. And I'm going to spread those out all in there. Let me get my trusty, so it's going to look like this right here. Okay. Then I'm going to, I already have it pre-opened, the Wolf Brand Chili. Be right back. So, I'm going to open up the Wolf Brand Chili. I'm going to move this closer to me. Okay, and then you're just going to open the Wolf Brand Chili up, you guys. And you're just going to spread it all over the tater tots and the sausage. And like I said, I've got two cans. So I'm going to rinse my spoon off so I don't make a really big mess. Because I don't like to make a mess, is. I don't like to make a really big mess. You know what I say? I like to be as non messy as possible. There's another can of the Wolf Brand Chili. So I'm going to also put this can in here. you get all of it out. Yummy to my tummy, baby. It's yummy to my tummy. Okay. And then you kind of want to mix it up and do all that stuff. Okay. So, that's on there. Then I'm going to open up my cheese. And you guys, I have already washed my hands before I started all this. So, of course, you got to be proper and wash your hands. And as you can see, guys, I'm just getting like a handful. And I'm just spreading it all over. And I will show you. So, that's what it looks like so far. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I am back. Short interlude. Okay, guys, so that is the second layer. Okay, and now I'm going to add more cheese. Since I added a sausage, and it's just about a handful, just like that, guys. You're going to put it on top. You're going to make sure it's nice and nice and done, nice and, and, uh, cool in there guys okay okay and guys I think I'm going to not need this one so I'm gonna put this back but guys so like I said you're gonna need about maybe half the bag of cheese you're gonna need if it's we got six people in here but they don't you can either use two things of sausage or one thing of sausage and I would prefer you get the name brand tater tots, not the off brand, because they don't get as crisp. I've already noticed that. Then uh, the Wolf Brand Chili, two cans is good. Okay. Usually I use a, a baking pan, but my husband has a cake in the cooking pan, so I'm using the this pan right here. So this is what it looks like, you guys. Just like that. You can see it. Okay, guys. So you, I'm going to put this back in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. I'm going to check on it. It's basically at your preference. You just need to keep watching it and see when the cheese melts and the chili gets warm and all that. Guys, so I will be back in 15 minutes. Bye-bye. Hi, guys. I am back. It's been 15 minutes. So this is what it looks like when you get done with the tater tot casserole recipes. Once again, guys, your ingredients are going to be two cans of Wolf brand chili. 
A half a bag of cheese, any type of cheese you want to use. Uh, Eckerd sausage or whatever type of sausage you want to use. And I just use one package. If you want, you can use two packages. Um, also, the tater tots, of course, is the main thing. And it's better if you use the brand name because the off-brand tends to not get crisp. And so you don't want that. And then to add to it, you can get some nacho cheese and spread it over. If you don't want to use sausage as one of the ingredients, you can ground hamburger meat, drain it, use that. That's usually what most people do, but sausage is a lot quicker and easier. And, and then also, guys, when you put it on your plate, you can use some ketchup to add some more flavor to it. Make sure you add the salt and pepper if you'd like. So, guys, this is the tater tot casserole recipe. And, uh, of course, you can pick, you can use pretty much any type of meat you want to. I don't think it would taste good with shrimp in it. I mean, not shrimp, like, like a type of fish, but probably, maybe shrimp. I don't know. But, guys, usually people use sausage or hamburger meat. So, guys, I thank you for watching. I appreciate you. Hope you're having a great 2018. And uh, stay tuned for more recipes. Uh, if you would like for me to cook some more items and show you how to how to roll with stuff for a quick family meal for your kids, then comment down below what you'd like me like for me to cook next. All right, guys. I will see y'all later. Bye bye.